Pretty much going on. You guys already know who it is. Your boy Bobby from MentorMe.com. Man, shouts out to Tavares. Oh my God. I'm so proud of uh <laughs> I'm so proud to see how many people want to learn, man. It's late evening hours. Almost 11 o'clock at night. And um, you know, I just had a great conversation with one of my good old friends. We're talking about life, we're talking about growth, we're talking about elevation. And um, it just really feels good to know that a lot of people do appreciate uh, what I'm bringing to the table and the amount of education and knowledge that's, uh, that's being retained uh, uh, in a lot of people's eyes, especially the people that's viewing me every single day. Um, as you guys know, the stock market right now, uh, Martha, what's going on? The boss is in the building. Uh, shouts out Martha's tax office is in the building. Oh my gosh, she training them. I see the I see the live video. Make sure y'all she y'all if y'all need your taxes done, go to Martha, man. Martha the boss is in the building. From what I see, she also do credit repair. People, this is uh it's a blessing um to see people actually out here trying to make moves, trying to make some money. And there's nothing wrong with that, people. We could all help each other grow, and that's always a great thing. Uh shouts out to everybody that's DMing me. Uh, messaging me through IG, Facebook. Um, Shouts out to my boy Peanut, aka Tavares in the building. Um, we always have great conversations, man. He always sharing my content. Many others are always sharing my content. And um, it's just a real blessing to see that people actually do appreciate it. I'm telling you. Um, you know, tonight's topic is uh, one of those topics I really want to take some time to dive into. But before we even do that, as you guys know, Biden is, of course, on the electoral side. He's ahead of uh, Trump. Uh, uh, we may have a new president of the United States of America uh, as soon as maybe tomorrow, maybe even tonight. Depends on, uh, of course, certain states, of course, closing out uh, polls and all that good stuff. Um, so proud to see uh, two great uh, individuals, of course, competing against each other and in, uh, in a race for uh, greatness, man. It's, uh, it's amazing. Um, right now, let's talk about the stock market. Uh, as you guys know, last week, the stock market was down. It was down badly uh, to the point stocks was dropping 20 to 50 to 80 points. Um, had a lot of people nervous. Shouts out to everybody that's in my stock trading chat room. Uh, <laughs> I know some people had to be nervous. I definitely wasn't nervous, but again, I was down a lot of money. Um, last week alone, probably was down close to $100,000. So you could imagine uh, in that position, you got to emotionally hold yourself tight and know that uh, you believe in the stocks that you invested into and you'll be all right. And uh, now we talk about today. The stock market uh, did a drastic increase right now. Uh, appreciation uh, because, of course, the election. If Biden wins, uh, Biden is for certain things, of course, um, such as clean energy. And, of course, Tesla and all these uh, EV companies and uh, many of the technology stocks is up. So no matter which uh, individual becomes president, there's going to be a lot of stocks up in the market in the next couple of days. Once we find out who's the next president of the United States of America, um, God bless America. I'm going to tell you that, man. Um, I want to, I want us to understand that life is what you make it. You know, when I speak to individuals and they call me, we talk about great topics about life and growth and, you know, investing in ourselves and figuring out how to financially win. I've learned that, uh, it's always, uh, it's always a challenge to understand certain components of life and being great. You know, tonight, speaking of Tavares, I've learned that a lot of people do appreciate, you know, the information. I've learned a lot of people do want to win. And the people that want to win have similar problems. When you want to win, you start talking a different way. You start moving a different way. You start hanging out differently. And you're going to realize a lot of people don't like that. And even though it's not their life, it's your life, they don't like how you have change for the better. They want you to change for the worse. They want you to keep being you. And I thought tonight would be a great topic to talk about this because again, we're always chasing the bag, right? We hear people say, I'm always chasing. People are always chasing the bag. That's, that's the most hashtag comment you see in life. We're, ta we're chasing the bag. The problem is we're chasing the wrong bag. And the problem is we don't understand how wrong it is. Like, you're chasing Birkin bags. You're chasing Gucci bags. You're chasing Louis bags. When the bag you should be chasing is a generational wealth bag. A bag that could create different streams of income. 
a bag full of estate planning that your family can have when you pass away. A bag that leaves some real estate behind so your, fi your family can financially win. That's the bag you should be chasing, right? But instead, what are we chasing? We're chasing what? The Gucci, the Louis, the Birkin bags, huh? And at the end of the day, you don't realize who's winning. The only person winning when, you, when you're chasing those bags is those companies. And a lot of us, we don't understand. We still have this problem again. We still haven't found our identity. We're still trying to figure out who we are. So, so we buy these self-esteem bags. I need the Birkin. I need the Gucci. I need the Louis. I need the Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> but that's the bags you're chasing. Then we look at your asset column. What do you own? What assets do you own for all the years of you living? And a lot of us, the conversation stops. But you're chasing the bag. A lot of us, we chase the bag just to show off to others. We, we chase the bag just to downplay certain people. We chase the bag just to go buy an expensive car that we can't afford that eventually get repo. That's why we're chasing the bag. Huh? You're chasing the wrong bag, people. And the world going to keep selling you a dream. These companies are continuously making products every single day to hope that you fail. To hope that you keep spending money with them. While you're thinking mentally you're chasing the bag, the bag that you're chasing is only leaving you behind. These Birkin bags ain't going to put you in the future, people. These Birkin bags ain't putting money in your pocket. But that's what you're chasing. You're chasing the bag. Tavares is in the building. Peanut is in the building. <laughs> that's my boy right there, man. That's my boy. You know, Tavares, we had a great conversation tonight. And tonight we're talking about real topics, baby. We, we, we're trying to understand why is people chasing the wrong bag. And I'm trying to understand that too. Why are we chasing Birkin bags? Why are we chasing Louis bags? Why are we chasing Dior bags? Is those, is those companies putting money in your pocket? Name one company that you spent a thousand dollars on a bag for. Have they ever put money in your pocket? Have they even said, here's a $50 gas card? Have they even said, thank you for spending money with my company and making my family wealthier, my shareholders wealthier? I get it. A lot of us were chasing this bag. A lot of us right now, what, what are we doing? You, 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 you're scamming, huh? You got the PPP money, huh? You're scamming. You got the bag, right? And then what you doing with it? Showing off? Making sure people on IG click likes? Making sure they see that you driving foreign? That's why you chasing the bag? You chasing the bag for self-esteem issues? Cache say, I don't give a damn about a bag with somebody else's name on it. I want my own brand of bags. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Why can't we chase a bag that benefits our pocket? Why can't you chase a bag of life insurance so your family can win and you create generational wealth? Why can't you create a bag of assets that put passive income in your pocket so when you're sleeping, you make your money? Why are you not chasing those bags? Why are you only chasing designer bags? Why are you only chasing bags full of scamming? Full of stolen things that could get you caught up. Why are you ain't chasing the right bags in life? Why are we so programmed to negative things of life? You ever ask yourself that question? <laughs> Why are we so programmed to negative things of life? One of the things I learned in life, we're still trying to figure who we are. And a lot of us, we have this thing where if, if, if Bernie's Burgo has a bag on, we got to have the bag too. You don't know what she do to, get, to make her money. You don't know how hard she worked to make her money. You don't know what she do to even have the money to buy the bag. You don't even know she's buying the bag. But the reality is a lot of you, you want the bag. But when is that bag or when have that bag ever put money in your pocket? 
When have any bag that ever came out, Burberry, Gucci, Louis, ever put money in your pocket? Why do we put so much energy into material things that get us nowhere in life? And then we go into this mindset. I hope a president can solve all our problems. But you're chasing the bag. You ever met a person that's been chasing the bag for almost a goddamn decade and still have nothing to show? There's so many individuals that have been chasing bags all their life and you still got nothing to show. What was the purpose of you chasing those bags? Why don't you chase a bag that could give you generational wealth? Why don't you chase a bag that could give you a life of freedom where you don't have to work for somebody for the rest of your life? Why don't you chase a bag that could one day have you retire? But a lot of you don't want to hear that. You want to chase the, Bir you want to chase the Birkin bags, huh? The Gucci bags, <laughs> the Louis bags. These companies, I know sometimes I can imagine they in their office just laughing. They ain't laughing. Made a $20 bag, selling it for, for $3,000. And they're like, look at this. Look at, look at people fighting over our material stuff. And we just, we just, we, we, they, they just enjoying it. Like, look at this. Make a t-shirt for $20, put the word Versace on it, charging $8,000 for the, for the, <laughs> the t-shirt. And then all it takes is an artist to wear the shirt. And now it's, it's justified. I, I don't know if it's me. I look at some of these material things. It's like the quality is getting just more garbage. It's just getting worse. And, and it's like, but the price is continuously increasing. But the problem I have is there's nothing wrong with treating yourself in life. Nothing wrong with chasing the bag. But what I want you guys to start understanding, chase the bag that can give you financial freedom. Chase a bag that can give you the life that you want. Chase a bag that got some real value in it. Because the bag that a lot of y'all chasing might get you locked up. The bag that a lot of y'all chasing might have you dead or in jail, right? The bag that a lot of y'all chasing might have somebody come rob your house because of the jealousy that they have in them, believing that you're doing it, and then they find out you ain't even got it like that, and they robbed your house, shot you, killed you, right? So you chasing the bag to impress other people. You chasing the bag to make sure people can see you. Your self-esteem that low that you got to buy a twenty, thirty thousand dollar bag just so people can see you, just to get some likes. Now, for some of you, you just bought a bag because you want to treat yourself. That's different. But I've met a lot of people. They've been chasing the bag for almost a decade. And then when you ask real questions, what do you own? They start to get upset. They start to get upset. You getting upset because I asked you a real question? But you put a post yesterday, you chasing the bag. So you were chasing the bag weekly, daily, 365 days a year. And you don't own shit? You chasing the bag and you don't have no life insurance on yourself? You chasing your bag with a 550 credit score? <laughs> but you chasing the bag? I wonder why are we so attached to these bags that bring us no value? A bag full of depreciating assets that's losing value from the minute you touch the bag. And that term has went so micromanaged. It's gotten to the point that people really think it's a real term. You're chasing the bag. I remember at one point they would say things like, oh, I have a duffel bag full of money. And it, it was so impressive to see, you know, $40,000 in a duffel bag, in a Gucci duffel bag. That was a representation as if you made it. Oh, my God. This man got a Louis bag with $50,000 in ones in it. Wow, he is doing it. Now the term is you're chasing the bag. I'm going to tell you guys this, man. I'm going to tell you something, okay? Life don't get easier. And the route some of us are going with the bullshit that we chasing, you're, gonna, you're already, ten, some of you don't realize yet, you're already five to ten years behind. And by the time you catch up why you keep chasing the wrong bag, you're going to be 45, 55, 65 years old. One thing I've learned in life, common sense is not so common anymore. People 
die to make money. People die to invest. People want to learn how to win. Then they finally make some money, win a lawsuit, however they make their money. Then what they do with it? They invest it into these designer bags and make these companies richer. Somebody made a great, a great point earlier in this post. Why don't you create your own bag? Why don't you invest into you while you're chasing the bag? But this time, instead of chasing the bag that brings you no value, chase a bag that's bringing you assets. Chase a bag that could have your family financially free. Chase a bag that could take your family from being poor to financially winning. Being low income to being middle class, high class. Why don't you chase that bag? Chase the bag that's going to, of course, have yourself in a seven-figure house one day. Chase the bag that's going to have you $10 million sitting there waiting for you 10 years from now. Chase that bag. But some of you right now, you're still impressed. You're still impressed by a bag with $20,000 in it. You're still impressed by going to a strip club, seeing $5,000 in once. You're still impressed. To you, that's a bag. My God. She made it. My God. She got $5,000 in ones? Damn, she doing it like that. I got to be like her. When you say got to be like her, who is her? Like what? What does she do for a living other than dance? Okay, cool. What does she own? Is she invested into anything? You know, I see a lot of videos online. People love to make sure people see the designer brands they have on while they're chasing the bag. People, at the end of the day, you, you're only lying to yourself. When you buy all these designer things, I don't know if you realize it by now, a lot of people don't give two shits about you. People click like, <laughs> and it's not like you, you, they, they, they're, oh my God, they're so impressed by the bag that you got on that you've been chasing that they want to be like you. Sometimes they click like and they're still jealous of you don't like you and don't even want to see you. Don't even, you, you, just, you just destroyed your relationship. A lot of us in this world don't understand there's a bigger bag to chase. There's a bag of success. There's a bag of pa passive income. There's a bag that's going to have life insurance in it. So your family doesn't have to work as hard as you worked to win financially in this world. So while a lot of you are chasing this bag of depreciating assets, a bag that brings you no real value. One day is going to make sense to you that you should start chasing the bag that could give you the freedom that you want. Right now, a lot of you don't realize that you're fighting for freedom. The freedom to be who you want to be. The freedom for you to make how much you want to make. The freedom for, the, freedom for you to travel the world and be the best you. But while you're chasing the wrong bag, you're going to see that life is not changing. The minute you start chasing the correct bag, the bag that will give you generational wealth, the, the bag that will give you passive income, you making money while you sleep, the bag you should have that, of course, lets people and yourself know that you got an 800 credit score when you pull your American, American Express card out. That bag, that's when life changes. Right now, I'm going to answer a couple questions before I get on live, before I get off. Cache say, because we want to look good, but fear real success. One of the things I learned, Cache, a lot of people are scared of success. Because being lazy and broke is easy. It doesn't take too much effort. But being successful takes time, takes sacrifice, takes letting friends go. A lot of us, we, we're scared of success 100%. And a lot of us, we still haven't found out who we are. So we wake up every morning chasing bags that carry nothing in it except lost souls. There's a mass that a lot of people didn't wear Halloween. Halloween is a, a holiday I don't really celebrate, right? But I want you guys to know, there's a lot of people that have lost their soul and they don't know where it's at. And they try to lift up their energy and their self-esteem by chasing material things all day. And these material things get them nowhere in life except left behind. Some of you, when you evaluate your life, when you finally take some time and evaluate your life, and you realize that 
You're 12 years behind. It's like the other day, it's just like, there's some people that they just finding out that you could buy, a, you, you could, you, you could, you could own an apartment. There's some people that just found out you could start your own business. They, they 45 years old, just finding that out. There's some people that just found out that life insurance exists. Do you know how far behind you are? I'm 34, I had life insurance when I was, nine, like nine, I think, 21 or 19. I was making 50 raps when I was 17 years old. <laughs> and people making 50 racks at 25. Some people make it. Some people. Some people might pass away and never feel fifty thousand dollars in their life. That's what's crazy. And the sad part is, some of those people have three degrees, but they they go on social media. I'm chasing the bag. You know what I learned in life that there's a lot of good looking people, and they have a good perception on social media. When you look at their life, it looks like everything is sweet. They're living their best life. And then when they book me for a one-on-one -on -one and I find out and look at their financials, then the reality comes out. Your life is not as good as it looks on paper. You're struggling. You maxed out all your credit cards. This is for males and females. But you got the best Jordans on. You got the best brand name shirts on. You know all the new rap songs, lyric for lyric. But when somebody asks you a real question, why you ain't got shit at 35? You start looking crazy. You can't answer that question. How come you don't own a house at 40? How come you still live with your mother in your 30s? Why you got a 400 credit score at 45 years old? When a lot of you realize that, and it's not all of you, because some of you are doing very well, congratulations. I congratulate all of you that's doing very well. But some of you are struggling. And social media has you so full, it's ridiculous. The, 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 the jets, people sitting in the jets, that's not moving. <laughs> people with the four five chains on. <laughs> people renting cars on Turo got you really confused. <laughs> Nowadays it's like you go to certain locations now It's like everybody driving foreign I never knew Lamborghinis was so cheap in my life By theory You know when you look at different components of life When you look at Airbnb Turo app where you can rent cars A person could fake a lifestyle so easy nowadays You could go on Airbnb Rent a penthouse 150 Shoot a video Yeah welcome to my crib then you, you go downstairs, jump into a car. You just rented on Toro yesterday for $800. Yeah, this is my port. This is my Lambo right here, man. If y'all want to get like me, all you got to do is, of course, <laughs> sign up. Sign up to what? <laughs> sign up to the facade you just gave me? What, what exactly am I signing up to? Or the jet that you just sat in that already had rosé bottles in it before you even got in it? That you don't even know how, that, that don't even have a pilot up front? What am I signing up for? world is a facade but I, i'm gonna say this to a lot of you that's saying this line i'm chasing the bag nothing wrong with chasing the bag i chase the bag every day right but make sure you're chasing the bag that brings you value that brings your family stability that puts you in a situation where you're gonna be worth seven figures a year because again a lot of you are growing up and you're lying to yourself and you've been lying to yourself for a long time only you know the truth behind closed doors you know what you're going through you know you don't have shit going for yourself. You know financially you're struggling. You know financially you need to do better. You need to, you need to get some more savings. You know financially you need to, of course, get to the next level of your life. But you're still chasing these wrong bags just because you want to show social media what life could look like if you had your life in order. And the reality is a lot of you don't. And it's sad. Because the sad part is that some of you have kids. And your kids are watching everything that you do. And as they're watching everything you do, they're going to replicate everything they see every single day, especially when kids are young. That's why I say it's important for anybody. Pay attention to who you date. Date people that add value to your life. Because it's important. 
Uh, who's that? Tavares is going on. Um, what shows I got coming up? Um, 12, 8. No, let me start off with my November 21st show. Tavares, that show, November 21st, I got a show showing you how to flip real estate with no money. Uh, certain people already, uh, of course, reserve their seats. If you haven't, get on mentorme.com, click the products tab. This show here, I'm going to be honest as I continue. It would be crazy for, for a lot of you to miss that show. I'm teaching you unorthodox ways of how to make money in the real estate market without any money. This show has never been done. A lot of people don't understand how to do it. It's not something you can read in a book. You can't watch a YouTube video on it because <laughs> it doesn't really exist like that. So the reality is, are you going to step up to the plate and show up for the, for the opportunity? Because the truth is, a lot of you right now, you're, you're struggling. You're having a hard time with life. You're having a hard time saving. You're having a hard time figuring out where to start. Or you're just one of those individuals from years ago, you always told yourself you wanted to do something. But you're in front of social media continuously saying this statement, I'm chasing the bag. Chasing the bag of what, people? Nothing. What do you have to show for all the years that you live in? <laughs> show number two, 12, 12. I got a two day tax show teaching you how to, of course, start your own tax office, how to do taxes. It's Saturday and Sunday. It's a 12 hour class teaching you how to make six figures in the tax business in 12 hours. I'm bringing you straight to the money, straight to the money. Kevin, what's going on, my boy? 12-8, I got a stock trading webinar teaching you how to, of course, if you never traded stock before, this webinar is for you. And then next year, I got some shows that is going to be very unique. I'm now going to be teaching you how to trade options of stocks. I'm going to teach you how to make, of course, six figures renting Airbnbs without even owning one. <laughs> Well, there's so much money out here, man. Sometimes I can't even understand why how people are struggling. <laughs> you know, it, it, it don't even make sense. If you living in this world, you got a social security number, you born and raised in this country, and you struggling, you should be at all my shows. That's what's crazy. You should be at all my shows. If you're struggling in a world where there's so many opportunities, and you're born and raised with a social security number, you should be at all mentor me shows. That's crazy. I can't even understand when I hear people say they're strong. I'd be like, how is that possible? What school you went to? Did you graduate high school, college? What degrees you have? What do you do on your spare time? I ask real questions when I sit down with people. What was the last thing you invested into? And a lot of people, you know, it's crazy. They can't answer these questions. They can't answer these questions. They watch the election coverage. It's true. People, I want you guys to know I'm not going to hold you up. I know tonight is a big night. Everybody trying to see who's the next president. But for a lot of you that's chasing the wrong bag, it's time you change your approach to life and chase a bag that could bring you value, a bag that could bring you assets to your family. And if you're a person that don't know where to start in life, it's time you start coming out to my shows. It's time you start maybe booking a one-on-one -on -one webinar or face-to-face -face with me. So start trying to get your life in order. Because a lot of you don't realize that every day you waste not doing anything or chasing the wrong bag, you're only hurting yourself and your future family or your present family. It's, it's, it's a point in your life where it's time for you to start chasing the right bag. Chasing the bag of success. Chasing the bag of greatness. Chasing the bag of abundance. And a lot of you need to understand, you can't work forever. Brandon, what's going on, what's going on baby? Appreciate the compliment. Brandon, tonight we're talking about a great topic. A lot of us, we've just, we just been chasing the wrong bag. And I'm trying to get everybody readjusted bag back to the right bag. The bag of success, the bag of passive income, the bag that has assets in it, real estate assets in it, the bag that has a stock portfolio, the bag that has what we call an AUM, assets under management of a million dollars. That's the bag I want a lot of you to start chasing. Not the Birkin bag, the Louis bag or the Gucci bag that's not going to get you anywhere in life. 
MentorMe.com, people. Appreciate the love, like, share, subscribe. Get on my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're not on IG, get on IG. I just felt this was a great topic for me to talk about because I see a lot of people chasing the wrong bag, and I get it. You want to be cool. You want to be relevant. You want to get them likes, which brings no value and makes no money in your pocket. It's time you start chasing the right bag because I'm going to tell you something. It feels so much better on the top. So much better. MentorMe.com.